Hey everyone, Jackalope Tales bonus content. BC Boysley. And uh, we are going to be talking about Toady stuff because we are original Toady members. Right. Lisa Umbarger, Charles Mooney. And we also do something else, don't we? Yeah, we have a podcast called Jackalope Tales, uh, new episodes every Wednesday. Um, be sure and check out that, and uh, you'll hear some funny uh, stories about musicians. Also, some scary ones. Ooh. Some of them are kind of weird and strange. Funny, scary. I want to. We make it funny. I want to fill the gamut. Let's do it all. Emotional roller coaster. Super sexy. Yeah. Super sexy. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, for the bonus content, that's when I scratch my satchel with uh, all the different toady memorabilia from when I was in the band, which we're talking early days. Yeah. I mean, this is like Declaration of Independence old. Charles saved everything. It's so amazing and incredible. And so each week we're going to just pull something out of the satchel and talk yeah. about it. Yeah. There are pictures, flyers, articles. Backstage passes. Yeah. I mean, set lists, you name it. Edible underwear. They probably don't taste good anymore. Uh oh, I'm doing a mark sniffing. Yeah, don't sniff. <laughs> don't <laughs> sniff the satchel. Okay. So, going to pull something random. Feels like paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is where we get to highlight uh, someone's artistic abilities. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this was one of my favorite flyers. We we tried not to use frogs and toads in our... <laughs> um, that backfired. <laughs> and Because, you know, it was the toadies, but we tried not to use the frogs and the toads in our flyers and stuff mm -hmm. but sometimes it's just too easy not to god yeah. and um man this show was with the faith healers mm -hmm. do you remember where they were from uh and this is I'm, a there's two bands that have been the faith healers this is the original yeah faith this healers. was the original one I, weren't they from up north northeast yeah i think i so. almost want to say new york but they like were that amazing god um and it's funny because i didn't say where we're playing but this was at the axis yes this is because i didn't know how to make a freaking flyer <laughs> this is probably one of my first ones that i did yeah i mean um, good. you you hadn't gotten to the toad with the halo and the right it was Christ more sacrilegious yeah. and uh -huh. um this is yeah when this I was, was your innocent days. right the innocent days um the faith healers, though, we all got shirts from them oh, that on yeah. the back of the shirt, it says, don't fuck with God tour. Oh, yeah. That one. Boy, you want to call. What was that, that on the front? It was on anyway, the front. Yeah. It says the yeah. faith healers don't fuck with God tour. Yeah. And then on the back, it had some kind of weird wolf thing. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I do. I don't have the shirt. Anymore, My mom but... took the shirt and I'm sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that shirt. Oh, that one would cause a stir if you wore it out in public. Oh, oh my God. that was yep. like the shirt of controversy. But yeah, the show, I just remember being insane and just amazing. Yeah, because this is at the, this will be the later days of the Axis. This is right before everything left. Because mm -hmm. um, the Axis was opened in. Eighty-nine. Uh, it may have been eighty-eight. Because did it open when we were? When we first started, our first show was there. Okay, so yeah, uh, very early eighty-nine then. Probably. Right. So it started early eighty-nine, and I don't think it ma made it past the summer. It was short-lived for so many cool things God. to have happened at that club, oh. um, including you know us playing our mm -hmm. first gigs yeah um nirvana played there goo goo dolls played there before they were oh goo goo dolls yeah when yeah. they were still they could i mean kelly parker michael parker they brought yep. in so many amazing afghan acts. wigs afghan wigs played the axis god how 
fucking cool is that? No, Fugazi. Shit. The Fugazi show that we've talked about that mm-hmm. was recorded where we opened up for Fugazi yeah. was recorded there by the video file guys. Um, oh. But it was just... I mean, the it was cops, amazing. The cops were so out to close that place. Oh my the god! Fire they marshal. It. it was like every night there yep. was some uproar, and they didn't sell beer because they didn't want to have to deal with any of that. Right. And it was just basically, um, it was two rooms. So one room you walk into, and I think mm-hmm. they sold like Coke. Yeah, not yeah. cocaine. The Coca Cola. <laughs> right. You could get a Dr Pepper or a Coke or yeah. Sprite or whatever, and or water. And then you go into the next room, and it's just a box, mm-hmm. a rectangle box, and the stage is to yep. the up left. Against, yeah, up against the window. Right, and then open cavernous room with bathrooms in the back, and it's just so fucking simple. Simple. A few chairs. A room. But- that you show up and play a room with the stage and you play and it was beautiful. And it was the only place to hear live music that wasn't country. Yeah. In Fort Worth. So you didn't have to drive to Dallas. Right. And And I think there was Joe's garage, but I didn't go there. They, you know, they played metal, but this was the metal side. Yeah. And, but this was like a place that was playing rock music and alternative rock where. Yeah. You know, nerd kids like us could go and hear music. Oh. It was the only place. And I mean, just the size of the people that would hang out there. I mean, just whether just walking in and Michael and Kelly were so chill. Yep. They were the yeah. best club owners. Right. Oh. And it was in a place um, that was underutilized mm-hmm. in Fort Worth. So it was kind of destitute there yeah. there were a lot of homeless people around yeah. uh because yeah. it was close to uh, a hospital hospital district and yeah. um uh, so nothing there was no one there that complained about anything because no. it was well away from everything it was just basically an industrial area right almost yeah where, and yeah. the businesses that did exist there were long gone in the 70s yeah and so there was nothing there they were actually bringing commerce to a street that had none. Yeah. And um and everyone kept it clean because we wanted a place to be. So it, right. no one trashed the streets, no one in fact no. people cleaned it up. Mhm. Um oh, so it's yeah. kind of sad Ew. that uh the cops hated it. And basically um the reason why there were no clubs at the time is because every time someone tried to start one, the cops shut it down. Yeah. Oh, the fire marshal would come out and make sure there weren't more than a, the maximum occupancy. Right. And then they throw that they shit just were, around. There was all sorts of oh, jackassery about coming to in. I think it was a few times while we were playing, we'd be just going through our set. And then all of a sudden we'd have light beams. Yep. Where the cops were coming in with their flashlights looking for underage drinking. Right. And, and they'd that. shine it in our eyes while we're playing. Yes. Just being jerks. <sighs> It's just, and that's the thing. They never found shit. Right. I mean, there was nothing. Everyone respected Michael and Kelly and what they were trying to do. And right. The night they shut it down, you know, I'm sure we've talked about it before. Um, It was shut down because the cops broke stuff in the club Mm -hmm. and wrote tickets for it. Do you remember that? Yes. That one female cop that would. (gasps) hit her hit lights with Billy club and yep. wrote a ticket. Oh. She'd break a light. She tore the sink out of the bathroom God. wall and, and made flooded the bathroom. And it's Damn. like, Oh, that's a ticket. And she oh. write a ticket. For, she, she made so many tickets. They couldn't stay open. Oh yeah. Cause I just remember just Kelly getting so beat down. Yeah. It was horrible. I'm just getting warnings, getting all this and just constant. Yeah. So, uh, but your artwork, I'm telling you, that was, was, you're an amazing artist. I mean, you. I, you've, I've always known you had the ability to draw before you did this, but I remember you bringing this and I was like, holy hell, that thing is <laughs> gorgeous. So you have to look, um, there's a comic that was mm-hmm. put out. Um, it was a local comic, um, Malcolm Mayhew. Oh, published yeah. it and there's toadies comics i did a toadies comic strip 
Really? In each episode, in each uh, edition of it that came out. Wow. It was stupid bullshit. Malcolm, get it to it. Get a <laughs> copy to it. I think I have some. Do so you? We'll, yeah. Oh, hell. And yeah. not very many of them were put out. So it just covered, yeah. mostly covered um, the Fort Worth music scene. It's just like a little uh, yeah. folded in half. Okay. Uh, piece of paper. Ah. Oh, at okay. Toadie's. Huh. It's really stupid. I will go back and look at it. And <laughs> You're gonna be like, I didn't stupid. find any. Basically, of them. like make <laughs> make fun of Mark and Daryl in them. Oh hell yeah! Well, that, yeah, I don't want to right. read that. They're just dumb. And um, <laughs> that's great. Because <laughs> he's like, do it. And I was like, I've never done a comic. And he's like, well, let's see what you do. And all right, hey, good this job. Is stupid. No, anyway, whatever. But we'll find it because I can. You yeah, know, I was stupid then. Yeah, and I'm. But I can't remember things and I'm old and have dementia. So who cares? Let's let's talk about it. But I think you ended up getting a lot of responsibility for flyers after this one, because it was like, you do really good, Lisa. You do it. <laughs> yeah, I think I did do a lot of flyers after this. Yeah, so I think I did the first one and I was done. And then either you or Todd would do it. I had fun doing it because yeah. it was so. um different from schoolwork <laughs> and some, uh yeah yeah something to break the monotony no oh. we'll put this one up it's fun yeah. i love this show this was one of my favorite shows we played yeah very good memory from that show and i think i spelled the faith healers wrong because i think it's just th oh really? i don't even think they spelled it out the full oh. way i think it's the like the they didn't care yeah so uh, well, but anyway, then, yeah, it looks great anyway, but I printed yeah. so nice then oh, you, you must've got the ruler out, <laughs> 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 but yeah, I know it almost looks like an engineer did it. Mm, good job. But yeah, so we're going to be doing more bonus content. Uh, we'll be putting it out every Monday and our goal is to have it on a podcast as bonus content. Right, Thursday. Right. It so. just gives us a place to put some of the other funny things. And Charles and I like to reminisce about oh, all yeah. of this anyway, because it's kind of fun. Um, and I forget most of it. <laughs> I know. And then until like something pops in, I was like, oh, yeah, God, that was a great night. Oh, yeah. The memories come flooding back. Yep. And I hope you guys like it, too. Yeah. And those of you that were a part of the music scene back then, Please write in. Those of you who want to ask questions about the music scene or anything else from back then, please write in. Let us know. Or if you've got something from oh that my era, God. send a send a copy of it to us so we can see it and recall. Yeah. What it was. That yep. would be cool. That would be really cool. Because I mean I tried to keep everything, but I didn't I may not have. So. There's probably other stuff that's oh, yeah. awesome. That were, yeah. Share away, please. Right. So give us content. Please help us out. And um, please check out Jackalope Tales every Wednesday and help us out and subscribe and review if you yeah. feel uh, if you feel so called inclined. to do it. Yep. And hey, do it. And we might even call you out. So what about if we just call them? Give, an, give oh. us your number. Yeah. We like to make phone calls. <laughs> and don't give us your landline. Right. Give us your old landline. <laughs> <laughs> your parents landline oh wouldn't that be awesome that would be give sweet. us old landline numbers to call and yeah. we're gonna uh call people we'll give them a shout right hopefully they'll answer maybe we're we call mr too. beef do you remember that restaurant mr beef yes oh my god what's the number for mr beef let's call him <laughs> it's like the pre-rb days right oh it was oh, way better it than was RB's. good right there on camp mr beef oh my god <laughs> now i want some it was well, delicious. I'm su uh, I'm surprised they named it Mr. B. Get the because <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was really Mrs. Beef that ran the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that Mr. Beef, such a fucker, taking all the credit. <laughs> Get the meat sweats and go to go to school. <laughs> oh god oh, i forgot man. about that <laughs> anyway uh, see memories come flooding back <laughs> thank you guys so much for paying attention thank you and watch for more episodes subscribe so you'll be notified we'll see you next time bye bye
Mr. B. I fucking forgot about that. It was uh, dude. Wasn't it delicious? Why? Oh my god! It Fuck. Was, uh, yeah. God, it was so good.